I'm Mary, and today I'm going to show you how you can upload content to your Adobe Portfolio website. You can upload a variety of media to Adobe Portfolio, including images, text, video, and sound. This is mainly done using content modules. We have several different modules to choose from, including the image module, photo grid module, text module, Lightroom module, the video module, audio module, and then also the embed module. So the first one we're going to go over today is the image module. To add an image module, first open the page that you would like to add an image to. I'm going to add to this illustration page here. Then you can click on either the pencil icon or I'm going to click this plus icon right here. Then I'm just going to select image. And now, now that I've selected image, I will now be able to upload an image to display on this page. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and select one of my illustration projects. If I would like to go back and delete or replace that image, simply hover over the image, click the pencil icon, and select either replace image or delete image. The photo grid module is an easy way for you to showcase a collection of photos within a page in a grid format. In this example, I'm going to use a grid to showcase some process work that I created while working on the illustration above. This will help to demonstrate more of my artistic process and allow potential clients a glimpse into my workflow. To do so, just proceed as you did before, click the plus icon and select Photo Grid. Then select the images you would like to upload. I can also make a good number of adjustments to this grid by hovering over it selecting the pencil icon and clicking edit grid. From here, I can drag my images around to get the preferred order that I like the best. I can also add captions to my grid images um, by just simply clipping on the caption text box. We'll just say this is image one, for example. These photo grid captions will also be used as alt text for these images which is a really useful and intuitive accessibility feature. The grid automatically will use an algorithm to best size the images according to the browser they're being viewed on. If you would like to have some more control, however, you can also adjust the width of your grid using the width slider. To access that, once again, just go over to that pencil icon, hit width and margins, and then you can adjust the width slider until you get the look that you're you're hoping for. The video module is very similar to the image module. You can use this module in the same way to upload a video directly from your device. Video uploads using the video module are limited to one gigabyte per file and they will not display at full width. So if you would like to display at full width, the embed module is recommended instead. We'll cover that later. You can also upload audio to your website using the audio module. This is also very similar to the video and the image modules. Here you're going to want to upload an mp3 file and those are also limited to one gigabyte per file in size. Simply follow the same exact process to add an audio module selecting audio. If you would like to embed content from another platform, you can use the embed module. For example, if I wanted to embed a video from YouTube, I could use this module to do so. After locating the embed code from the YouTube video I would like to embed, I would just copy and paste that text into the module. The text module can be used to add text to your website. So to add text, just click that same plus icon within the page and then select text. like so. 
To customize your text, simply highlight the text you would like to change, and then you can select the text type, so header, subheader, paragraph, caption, etc. You can also change the text size, change the font, view bold, italicized um, options, and then you can also change the line height, alignment, etc. So now I'm going to quickly build out the rest of my website. Feel free to follow along. So now, as you can see, I have a beautiful and functional website with all of my content up on it. See you in the next video.